It's finally time to start the most anticipated anime of this season for my community, at least. Solo leveling. We've been covering so many videos on this topic already from Any News, Gigug, and it's finally here. Let's check it out. What happened three years ago? These are probably all like fucking mob monsters, right? Like, sorry, mob adventurers. Oh shit, these ants! Oh shit! Yo, these ants are eating us out! These hunters are dookie! Did we send a bunch of fucking E rank hunters? Get the fuck out of here, my man! Nah, he's done. Get out. Oh, oh! Wait! Is this guy hero? Oh, that's okay. Oh, OP healer out of nowhere. And he's dead too. Byungu. Okay, they're kind of keeping the Korean names. You know. Oh, it's the fucking beast dude from the trailers. The big buff dude. Okay, lightning guy and what is this outfit, dude? Okay, S rank hunters. Ooh, big white ants. Wow! The Japanese pronunciation of the Korean name, they're actually doing it! <laughs> Yo, these hunters are sick! What is this guy's power? Just fucking brute strength? <laughs> He's gonna hit him with his own fucking ant like antennas? Bro is so saucy. It's just covering his fucking nipples. This is like gonna be a male VTuber model, dude. You know there is a market for people, dude. This sh this sh this this dude is fucking showing way too much skin. Just like fucking Juggernaut from Eminence in Shadow. Look at this. So saucy. Yeah, this is a woman armor set. What's my man wearing it? Oh oh oh! It gets even bigger. You know what would have been even better? If we fucking look into this transition here, watch this, watch this. If they fuck- Oh, I think his hair is actually changing. Red hair turns in white hair. Hair check, but like... <laughs> imagine the top, like, this shit just fucking ripped off, right? And the nipples just fucking showed up. I'm just saying, I think the girl audience and a bunch- A couple guys too would enjoy that, right? <laughs> oh, shit. All right, let's see the power up. All right, all right. Lightning Wolverine. Shit. The soundtrack is so good. Oh, this is the Aizen looking dude from the trailer. I mean, he just took out like 20 different ants with that one attack. You're gonna send all these mobs to fight those ants when you could just do this fucking fire thing and just end it right now? This guy's fucked up. Guildmaster Choi, come on, man. This is crazy. Look at they're all gonna die! That's insane. Okay, that was three years ago and this is ten years ago. Right, gates open, monsters comes out. That's right. But then humans start to get powers at the same time though, right? Yeah, cause like, this is, the, this is the most sus part, right? Is as soon as the gates showed up, all these people start to get powers, right? And this is like innate powers that you, are, you apparently can't change. I think that's what happens, right? So immediately you're just assigned you know, S to E rank. AQ, BQ, CQ, yep. DQ. <laughs> and then here we are guys here we are right main character we are e-rank but it's okay because we go from like level one mob gang to like fucking level 100 mafia boss pretty soon right yeah you can't change it unless you're a main character unless you're the main character three years later okay after the ant stuff okay this is supposed to be like the lobby before you go raiding they're all okay we're going with the korean names okay okay this dude's gonna die <laughs> why did you just say that 
We're about to go into the fucking raid. Oh, that was my wife got pregnant with her second kid. I can't wait to see my kids after we come back from this raid. <laughs> you dumbass! You are the first one to get that! <laughs> fucking idiot. You're not gonna be raking it in. You're gonna die and you're not gonna see your kids again. <laughs> yeah, family mentioned death. Song! E rank. I'm not predicting the future. It's pretty obvious if you've watched anime. Family mention pretty much means death. Yeah, is he a big deal? I thought he's an E rank. Okay. So basically, we're just kind of getting ganged on. The weakest hunter in all mankind, not the strongest. Well, we will get to the strongest, but like something needs to happen. He needs to go through some kind of puberty, grow like a fucking foot, get some fucking Korean plastic surgery. He turns into a fucking K-pop model with OP powers. But how do we get there, right? <laughs> Actually the weakest in history. Oh, so like if you are in a raid with him because he's the weakest, it's probably going to be safe. So everyone's like excited because like, oh, we're not going to die. We're going to collect the paycheck and you'll go home. But the green dude, this dude is going to die 100 fucking percent. No shot you bring up your fucking family before going into a fucking dungeon. Yeah, we already fucking heard it all. Thanks. Oh? Is Juhi the girl, the popular, you know, pretty girl in class that always, you know, hangs out with the loser in class? Because, you know, in anime, usually the fucking beta cuck, you know, submissive dude that's like a neat, that just does nothing, gets reached out by the most popular girl, right? So is Juhi kind of that role in this show? Wait. Wait? But in the trailer, there was a different waifu that we saw. Maybe this is a child of friend type that doesn't win. Okay. The only one hurt in an E rank dungeon? Typical MMO raid. Ah, oh, we don't need a healer. Just fucking run it through it. Damn. Bro is. I mean, he's been the weakest forever. This mindset's pretty weak too. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how everyone here is just wearing a casual clothing, huh? Even though this is like a fantasy like gate that we're going to enter with like, you know, people have the crazy armors and shit, but everybody just looks like a regular citizen, right? Yeah, no one humble calls himself humble, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. E rank gate, how hard could it be, right? How hard could it be? Okay. Damn, that's her weapon? Level 1 knife? Bro probably can't even better it. He can't even buy it, right? Like better weapons because he, he's just so low rank. And E rank done just probably doesn't even pay well. Here we go. I think we see, we saw these dudes in the trailer too. So probably like some kind of like guild admin exec head, right? Guild leader. No, we already saw guild. I don't know. But he probably is some kind of like big important boss dude decision maker in this hunter society. <laughs> essence stones. Okay. This is what we farm from the monsters. And we sell the essence stones. Okay. Yeah, you got an essence stone. Woo! Dude, our weapon's already breaking. Dude, it's just a level fucking one goblin. Bro! Our knife fucking broke on him. Holy shit. Oh! Family man with the save? Wait! 
Yo, if this guy didn't save our fucking main character, solo leveling would not exist. So maybe I've been shitting on Family Man a bit too much. Hold the fuck up. Dub Family Man with the fucking green jacket. Let's go. All right, healing. Healing. See, this is why healing is so important. Damn. Only he's the one being left out like this. While everyone else fights. Yo, this old man with the fire attack's kind of strong, huh? Wow, we beat the dungeon boss. But, dude, how long is this healing taking? I swear she's been healing for like 30 minutes. Mm. She actually cares about us, man. So what, we should just quit? We can't quit? I mean, it's an E-rank dungeon, right? You're not gonna get much in an E-rank dungeon compared to like an S-rank, right? Wah, wah. This girl really likes Jin Wu. Yeah, Juhi is a uh, pretty... She's quite nice. I don't know why, though. Double dungeon. Family man, if you want to fucking go back home to see your second kid, you shouldn't go in this double dungeon. You sure you want to do this? Are you sure, Mr. Song? Stop! Fucking stop! This is the second time! Oh, you got a second kid on the way! We need more money for the kid, so let's fucking risk our lives to get more money so that this green dude is gonna fucking die when we see the kid! Oh yeah, he is so dead. He is like 200% dead now. That's the second time they mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, it's or like it's the cop saying, you know, I'm one day from retirement. It's like, why would you say that? You're gonna die now! No! Yes, listen to Juhi. 6-6, six, six, which means the decision break goes to... Yeah, so we should get the fuck out. What is a double dungeon? I don't know. Dad's gone missing. This seems pretty important plot points. You know, main characters of any of these shows are super important, right? So dad's missing. What's going to mom? What's happened to mom? Typical sad webtoon backstory. Mom's in the fucking hospital. Sister's gotta go to college. Main character's gotta get money to support everybody. Dude, is the dad just a fucking deadbeat? Bro, just... Just fucking... I'm gone. I'm sure there's like a greater reason, right? There's no way the dad just went for milk like Toji from Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, that's your sister? Okay. I don't blame him. Like, he's gotta do it, right? But... Alright. Is this like power testing what elements you are? What is this? Who is that girl? Even C rank gets poached for guilds? Damn, okay. Okay. Guildmaster Choi, Guildmaster Che is uh, the fire dude. Dude, he has so many rings on his fingers. Not that we we're likely to find anyone who can compare to Cha Hein. Probably some super OP character. Cha Hein, okay. Oh, oh, Jesus! This is from the trailer. Isn't this where some girl does a backflip and the cameraman literally goes from eagle eye view to get a zoom in on the ass? Right? Yeah! Watch, watch, watch. Yeah! <laughs> I remember. I made this my thumbnail. I made this my thumb. Thank you, cameraman. Cameraman fucking sick. Let's go. Yeah, damn. So, this is the main waifu? Shit. So elegant. 
is this the main girl for our main character instead of Jui, who's gonna be like the childhood friend that gets like left behind? What, what is this? I don't know, that flip was kind of crazy. <laughs> She's so tall too. <laughs> oh, that's Shaheen. Oh, she must be like an idol, huh? Like a fucking K-pop idol. Everyone's like, oh my God, it's her. Please, can we get a picture? Please, something. So like, is she wearing a hat? Because you know, like in Korea, like idols and stuff, they have to wear like masks and hats in public to like kind of like disguise themselves. So like, okay, okay. It's Ray Hunter. She's pretty tall. Just casually jumps out. Bye-bye. Parkour. Parkour! That backflip! This is so unnecessary. <laughs> like, you could have just fucking ran straight, but look at this. Backflip. Backflip. Alright, 10 out of 10. Stuck the landing, cool. She's sick. She's sick. Uh-oh. We're going in. Juhi literally said I care about you. You should get out of here. Because she cares. Well, he has plot armor, dude. Because he's the main character. <laughs> She's almost like a mom, man. So overbearing. But she is right. We need money. <laughs> In what fucking world does a girl like this exist where she just like helps you out no matter how weak and useless you are, just always there for you, and even now after we fuck up, well in that case, maybe you should treat me with to show a little gratitude, like, she is just begging us to go on a date with her! Fantasy, this is why this is a webtoon. <laughs> he was like, what? Should we focus on Cha Hyun or Jiwoo right here? I don't, I don't know. Jui, sorry, I fuck. I already fuck. I seeing Cha Hyun already might made her forget her name. Yuji, you Juhi, Juhi, right? Ah, Jiwoo, yeah, I called her Jiwoo, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this girl's gonna get replaced pretty soon. Why not both? Maybe harm ending. Okay, maybe harm. Yo, this looks like a this looks like a fucking boss's gate. Who is this girl? Yo, I've been sleeping on that. Is she wearing white lipstick? Oh my goodness. Yo, I like that girl beside Mr. Song. <laughs> Chairman of the Hunters Association. So he's like the, the founder, like the leader. Okay. Go Gunhi. Go Gunhi. Okay. He's got a lot of scars on his face. This girl in the hoodie reminds me of, uh, from ZOM 100, that girl. She was there when this guy was getting tested, too. I want, I, she must be pretty important, huh? So is this kid. I think this kid is, is the, the guy with the fancy armor in the trailer, right? Hmm. Okay. Please be afraid. Good advice. Yeah, be a coward. No, leave! Leave! As soon as you saw the gate, you should have walked away. What do you mean you opened the gate and fucking candles like this torch is getting? No, no, leave! Leave! Look at this! Look at this! As soon as we opened the gate! No! Get the fuck out! I, I immediately, as soon as I saw the door, I would have been out. But as soon as you see blue light torches lighting up, boss cinematic is about to fucking trigger. Oh no. Dude, no. <laughs> Why is that so big, dude? Dude. No. Have you not seen what a boss's room looks like? I mean, these are a bunch of shitty fucking D-class like adventurers, right? They think that this is like... A D-class dungeon, and since that Sung Jin Woo isn't here, it's gonna be like the weakest, safest labyrinth or some shit. But this is a double dungeon. I think that's a little bit separate from that initial, you know, um, assumption. <laughs> I don't like this, guys. <laughs> Get the fuck out right now! Get the fuck out right now! <laughs> isn't there like an iconic face of a guy smiling from the trailers? Isn't it this guy's face? <laughs> it's this huge guy's face. It's the same thing, except the face looks way more sinister. But 
They're not moving yet. Yeah! This dude! Bro, just get out of here. Run! The family man is so fucking dead. What if those statues are the monsters? Don't touch it! Don't touch it! A script? Commandment of the continent. First, revere God. Praise God. Prove your faith. What do you mean it's moving? What do you mean it's moving? Hello? Those who do not follow the laws will not leave alive? You ain't seeing your second child, you dumbass. You fucking idiot. What did you think was going to happen when those torches started lighting on fire? <laughs> Where was this guy the entire time? He's the fucking voice of reason now? Are, are, are you allowed to just leave though? Are you allowed to just leave though? It's moving! It's moving! That's one down. <laughs> Bro got clean cut from the shoulder up. It's over. It's fucking over. I mean, okay, at least we learned from him that we can't just walk out. I mean, okay, in the beginning though, right? It said, revere God, praise God, put your faith in God or some shit. So like, that must be like the clue of this dungeon. Who is God? This is all your fault, green puffy jacket man. The fact that you said you had a second child on the way is the entire reason this shit's happening. Fuck your death flags. Bro, it's over. Yeah? <laughs> All you NPCs are gonna die. Oh, we are so dead. Oh, we are so dead. <laughs> yeah. See, he's chilling again. He's not attacking us. But this is a double dungeon. It's different, right? Look at the eye, it's gonna move. It's gonna give us a little side eye. Look at the twitch like that. <laughs> no, that's it! No, we got more, right? Are we done? Are we done? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. L little backstory flashback? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what is this backstory doing? Didn't that knife fucking break? Yeah, we have no knife now. Not that the knife would even help against these statues. What the f Hey! You guys ever see that TikTok where we just go around looking at people's shoes, right? What the hey? What is this shit, bro? I mean, bro is so fucking broke. He's got fucking medical bills to pay for his fucking mom. Dad's fucking gone out to fucking buy milk and has returned like Toji from Jujutsu Kaisen. Sister's got to go to college. But goddamn, bro has no fucking shoes either. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's what are those? You try to backstab a goblin? Oh! 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 So the whole point of the backstory was there was for him to realize, like, intuitively, shit's about to fucking go, right? Get down! Did you see that? Dude, you can see his skeleton bones. Look at this. Watch! Watch! Oh, you see the ribs? They actually fucking put the design to see the bones, dude! Holy shit! Okay, green puffy jacket I think survived there. Who survived? Who survived? <laughs> green puffy jacket still alive, dude! The family man's still here? No, 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 family guy's alive, guys! Ah, shit, dude. <laughs> they keep showing his fucking body. <laughs> the fact got clean off just fucking slumped against the wall. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, well, well, no, 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 remember, like, revere God, uh, praise God, put your faith in God or some shit, like, listen to the transcript. It's gotta be the rules of the dungeon. That's it? Yeah, you are. But he's the main character. This is the opening, right? People probably want to wait for the visuals, so we'll wait for next week, okay. One hell of a fucking start to the, to the season, right? Like, interesting premise. Very, we've pretty much already studied this show from like doing gig up videos and ending this videos, right? Gates start to show up in the world, monsters show up, you know, hunters start to get the same powers. Hunters are immediately given a, like a rank that you can't really change except, you know, the main character is gonna do some bullshit, right? And he's gonna get it. Uh, monsters give you these like stones that you can make into better things. It's important to get clean, sustainable energy. I'm glad that they went into that detail. We got our main girl here though. What is, what's her name? Cha Hein, right? Cha Hein, all these different S frame counters are already teased. Dude, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Sheesh. But we don't really know how the main character is going to change into this Giga Chat BTS member, right? And I'm sure this whole dungeon, the double dungeon, is the entire purpose of his like second awakening, like they mentioned in the in the trailers, right? So somehow we got to get out of this. I don't think this is a dungeon that we're supposed to be clearing. Cause you know in games sometimes there's some battles that you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to win you know you're supposed to just like either lose and have a cutscene cinematic happen you, you know those type of things where it's like you fight a boss but then it's like you still lose and then a cutscene happens so I feel like we have to listen to the transcript revere God put your faith in God other shit and then maybe this dude fucking makes us into a Giga Chad K-pop member with OP powers I don't know but that's it for me but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care.